Good morning, everybody. Would you please stand with us? We have a new song for you called Praise. I'll praise in the valley, praise on the mountain. I'll praise when I'm sure, praise when I'm doubting. I'll praise in the stillness, praise through the noise. Cause I long for your presence, I lift up my voice. It's more than a sound My praise is the shout That brings Jericho down As long as I'm breathing Sovereign, praise cause you reign, praise cause you rose and defeated the grave, praise cause you're faithful, praise cause you're true, praise cause there's nobody greater than you, I praise, praise cause you're sovereign, praise cause you reign, praise cause you rose and defeated the grave, praise cause you're faithful, praise cause you're true, praise cause there's nobody a shout of praise for Jesus this morning. Well, good morning, everybody. Thanks for joining us this morning. Good morning to those of you watching online. We're so glad that you're here this morning. There's been something that I've been reflecting on over the past year of my life, really since my son has been born, and it's a question that I've wanted to ask you guys as well, and that's the question of where does God fit in your life? On the ladder of priority, of things that you hold important, where is he? 
I think a lot of times we can think that we put him first or we make ourselves believe that he is over everything. But if we don't ask ourselves these questions, if we don't take time to actually look at our life and ask ourselves this, it becomes really easy to put things in between us and God. And little by little, this distance becomes bigger. And it's just a slow fade until we realize that it's been weeks, it's been months since I've sat down to actually take time for him. And maybe for you, you're in this room and it has been a while. And I want you to know that it doesn't matter how long it's been, you can reset. And this morning, I want to encourage you to have that be, have this morning be a reset for you. To come before the Lord and say, God, I know that I have put these things in between us and I'm sorry. When you repent and you come to him, he desires so much to be in relationship with us. And it doesn't and shouldn't be confined to a Sunday morning for only an hour and we call that good and we check it off of our list. But where is God on your Monday, on a Thursday afternoon, on a Saturday night? What, how does he fit in your life? As we continue with worship this morning and the message, even when you leave today, think about that. Where are you putting him? And if today needs to be a day of reset, let it be that time. Because God is not far away. We have to be the ones to allow him to come close to us. To say, Lord, I give it all up at your feet and I want you, I desire you, I desire your presence. Would you pray with me? Father, we acknowledge your closeness. We acknowledge that you are here and you are working and you are moving. And in our humanness, we put things in between you and I. And I pray that we would acknowledge those things, that we would reset with you this morning, that we would acknowledge that you are to be the Lord of our lives, that we are to look to you first and foremost in everything. Father, draw near to us this morning in your name. Amen.
in the dark, the thing that we see when we need you most is your light. Thank you for coming in close. Thank you for being present in this room. Thank you for this room, Lord. Thank you for the message that Ryan has prepared. Lord, please speak to us all through his words. Continue to whisper in our ear throughout the week everything you need us to know about you and how to serve your people. Amen. Please be seated. Would you please stand with us? How I live for the moment where I'm still in your presence, where all noise dies down. Lord, speak to me now. You have all my attention. I will linger and listen. I can't miss a thing. Lord, all I know, my heart wants more of you. My heart wants something new. So I surrender.
in his presence here for a second. Tell Jesus that you love him this morning. Hallelujah. God, you are so good. You are so faithful. You are so wonderful, Lord God. I was just saying in the first service, Lord God, it's such an honor and a privilege to worship you. I thank you for this opportunity, Lord God. I thank you for this congregation. I thank you for each and every single person here in this place this morning. Lord God, I pray right now that you touch the lives of every single person here and watching on the internet, Lord God. You know the inner heart, Lord God. In Jesus' name, do an operation, Lord God. You are the ultimate doctor. You are the ultimate healer. Whatever anybody is going through this morning, Lord God, just set it free, Lord. In Jesus' name, we thank you. You may be seated. 